please. Before we start, search Ecodeck on YouTube, click on the like and subscribe button. Remember to activate the bell to stay tuned with our latest updates. What's up guys, welcome back on Ecodeck to this new tutorial video. So, what can I say? Seven months ago, we made a video on how you guys can install Kali Linux on Hyper-V. And we actually saw that you guys love the video, but some of you guys had some difficulties on how to install it on Hyper-V. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys the full tutorial on how you can actually install the latest version of Kali Linux, which is a 2019.3 on your v on vmware workstation so what is vmware workstation it's a visualization software that helps you to install your operating system on your pc for free so you can see like we have mr jacob rz who actually has a problem on the network configuration using this method so please if you have any problem with this method please you guys should actually check out this video because i'm going to be doing a a complete tutorial on how you are going to do it so i'm going to go right from the basis so what we are going we are going to need first of all we are going to need kali linux so to download kali linux i'm going to provide the link in the description so let us say kali linux latest version and we are going to need our vmware which should be vmware pro 15 the latest version of vmware so in kali linux is official website so this is what you are going to download in the 2019.3 so here is the latest version of Kali Linux but as for me I already have mine so if you can see here is my I already have mine but I'm going to check again now for the VM where there's an official website so the pro version actually leaves you a number of 15 30 days for the trial after the 30 days you actually need to pay before you can use the, com the the full version of the software so please you guys should check and buy the software because it's a really good software so for this after doing this to download the product so let us say if, if you have difficulties in finding your yeah, workstation pro So you can see here is it 15 pro 15.5 pro so this it has a try version uh, and now they have mine um, so where, uh, okay so yeah it is so here's my vmware workstation pro and if you can guess i've already installed mine so yeah it is on the desktop so when these two programs are ready and downloaded so let us move on to the next step so what we are first going to need is a hardware partition so for partitioning my digs i'm going to use a utility software known as aomid dix partitioner which is a very good tool which can help you to actually create your partition very easy so i'm going to just come on with a partition so I'm going to allocate it. Let me see. Yes, that's it. G will be enough for this. And oak. So you can tap a new partition. That's it. G. I'm going to just apply. Let us wait a few seconds and see what happens. Okay. So let us proceed. The program has so let me see they say we have to automatically close all the traditional so just to save the document so i'm going to restart the computer and i'm going to be back so we are back so if you can take note yes our new partition of 37.6 gigabyte that has been successfully created so after this is done let us move on to the next step so you are just going to open your vmware workstation pro so I've already installed my so yeah it's a user interface of VM workstation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the create new machine option. Typical yes. I'm going to use it on the install Dix image file since we have an ISO file of the Kali Linux. So yeah it is. I'm just going to load it. 
so you can see it could not detect which operating system is which we are going to specify it in the next step so i'm going to be choosing linux other linux for and later kernel so after doing this next so in here the name of the v i'm going to take an actual connect and for the location as i said earlier on our new partition after doing this we have to specify so let us say our partition no, i'm going to just leave it let me say 35 35 gigabytes since our partition is 37 so we'll be okay split which are digs into multiple files that's done so you can see here the default setting of the vm where workstation so when all this is done what you need to just do is to click on the finish button so after clicking on the finish so you can see here is your virtual machine so after doing this what you need to do is just to load start it so to or going to power on this machine you can all see our virtual machine is already loading so in here here is the user interface so what we're going to do is that we're going to be going on the graphical install so please follow my link let us do it all together so graphical install so this process is going to take around let me say 20 to 25 minutes depending on your computer so let us wait okay so i'm going to take english united states american english loading additional components so please if you encounter any problem while doing this please comment below the video and we are going to attend to you so i'm going to be skipping some of this part in order to make the video to be shorter because so detecting the hardware component this is done all right attempting so here's a network configuration is automatic which is actually cause many problems to, to the to those that were using the virtual that, that were using the uh, our previous video which we we're talking about how to how to use the v on the um, hyper system so let us wait for the configuration network to come out so this trick is absolutely free so host name i'm going to leave it at scali domain name we can actually leave it empty or i'm going to just say i just call the pen com okay so root password so please in you never forget the password which i'm going to use so let me show the password so i'm going to be taking I'm using IQ Connect. I'm going to choose IQ Connect 2, 3, 7. I was going to do the same. When this is done, click on Continue. So, setting up the clock. So you can actually decide to configure the plugin to go in for the central time zone. Okay, had the detection complete. Loading additional component loading. That thing, the partitioner. Okay, so in this section, what you're going to do is I'm going to use the entire disk. So that's done. So you can see I'm going to use the entire disk for this operation. So please take note to choose the entire disk option at this stage okay so i'm going to all files in one partition so yes okay finish let us start writing changes to the disk so i'm going to go to yes so partition been formatted so please as from here once this bag gets full the system will be done so i'm going to pause the video for now i'm going to be back when the bag is full 
so we are back and our system is almost done so let us just be patient so as i said earlier this operation will take you around 15 to 20 minutes depending on your computer system so let us be patient a little bit So that's it, it is done. So in the uh, use a mirror, I'm going to say can be used to implement software that is included in the system. And this may also be of the software. So I'm going to be selecting no for the mirror. So continue. So what the installer is doing now is installing the crop boot loader. So this when you, if you can actually see this crop boot loader means that your system is getting to is soon getting to complete its installation so at this stage i'm not going to wait longer so in your event yeah, yes i'm going to say yes so here the device so we are going to start the web bootloader in that device so now finishing the installation so after this our calibre needs is going to start properly so rebooting to the new system so you can see our system has rebooted so that's done Kali Linux is installed so the system is it's rebooted so I'm just going to toggle the full screen So yes, now we are on the full spin mode. So in now let just just wait for a few seconds. Let the Linux interface show load up. So you can actually see it's coming up. So for the username, we are, we are going to be using the root as usual. And for the password, you should guys actually remember it was IQ Collect 237. Oops, let me start it back. IQ Collect. So, TV cell. so sign in so that's it Kali Linux has finally been installed on my PC so please I hope you guys actually love this video and please remember all the links are going to be provided in the description so the links where you are going to download in your Kali Linux and all of them are going to be available in the description so as i said in that if it's your first time to be in this channel please click on the subscribe button and to stay tuned with our latest update so let us try and see if we can actually change the screen resolution of the screen so for it i'm going to go let me see um device so here you can see the resolution so i'm going to adapt it at my resolution i'm going to be taking it at let us try let us apply and see how it look like mm -hmm. so here you can see you can actually decide to revert or to keep so i'm going to decide to keep it you can see decide to look forward if you can actually see the screen vision of your screen as on my own case i can't see the screen vision of my screen in here so i'm going to leave it at this point so this one is actually nearer i'm going to be choosing this okay i'm going to apply and keep changes so that's done your Kali Linux is properly installed on your VMware Pro. So please hope you guys love this video and please if you face any difficulty please comment and we're going to attend to you and please remember to subscribe if it's your first time to actually visit this channel. Bye. See you next time on Accio Correct. Ciao.